This video is brought to you by the Edinburgh Watch Company, who specialise in the buying and selling of fine Swiss luxury watches in the beautiful city of Edinburgh and online at edinburghwatchcompany.co.uk. Hello and welcome to The Watch Guys. I hope you are safe and well. Yes, this is it. I got one. This week's watch is the Nozomi Roof X Voiture Chronograph. A limited edition motorsport themed watch featuring the legendary Roof logo and patronage. This week let me tell you all about this special watch. The history of Nozomi, the unboxing, why I wanted one and of course all about that special movement. So first of all this week, yes, I managed to secure one of these limited edition Nozomi Roof X Voiture chronographs. There was only 200 made, it was touch and go as to whether I was going to get one, but I managed to do it and I'm very pleased about that. Many of you will remember that I mentioned this watch in the nine watches I would buy in a heartbeat episode and right at the point where I was recording that was when this watch became available. But more about the buying story later on in this episode. And many thanks to all of you who contacted me to make me aware that 15 more of these watches had become available. Thankfully, by the time I got your messages, I had already secured one. So what exactly is it? What's a roof? What's a Nozomi and what's a Voiture Chronograph? Well, it's a 200 piece limited edition model of Nozomi's Voiture Chronograph that was created in partnership with supercar maker Tuna Roof. So that basically means it's got a unique green and cream dial and it has the famous Roof logo at the top. Other than that, it's just a standard Voiture. This was only available to buy directly from Nozomi itself at a certain time and a small number were allowed to be sold through Roof's online store. Basically it was first come first serve and once the stock had been extinguished that was it, no more. But before we get too deep into this episode let's have a quick wristwatch check and under the blue jumper this week I've got my humble Rolex Oyster Perpetual 39mm rhodium dial. This is reference number 114300. It's a 2019 watch, but it was actually discontinued from the range in 2020. It's a 39 millimeter steel case and it features the 3132 movement. As is often the case, I wanted one of these watches just at the moment they were being discontinued, so I had to frantically search around to get one. Sadly, Rolex didn't have any left in stock, so I had to buy it from one of my friendly neighborhood dealers. But this week's watch is this, Nozomi Roof X Voiture Chronograph. And first of all, it would be polite for me to tell you just what or who Nozomi is. Nozomi Studios was created in 2011 in Stockholm in Sweden by designer David Campo, a big Porsche 911 and vintage enthusiast. Nozomi means rat in Japanese and the name came from a book which featured a character called Nozomi who was a sort of Robin Hood style figure who stole from the rich and gave to the poor. Campo's original product line was vintage limited edition denim jeans but that was soon expanded into more denim and leather products as seen here. Campo started producing watches in 2015 and the voiture was part of a successful Kickstarter campaign. The range of watches has now grown considerably and as you can see here there is quite a selection including many different dial variations and colour schemes. All of them though have that satisfying vintage look about them. So what is the connection with Roof? Well I said that the guys at Nozomi are Porsche 911 fans and Aloeus Roof has been tuning them since 1975 but most petrol heads will know Roof because of the 1987 Yellowbird superfast 911 that was captured lapping the Nürburgring in Germany in the most rapid and spectacular way in the film Fascination and it became an instant legend. Since then Roof moved into creating its own cars like the CTR3, RTR, RGT and the CTR modern Yellowbird and not forgetting the very latest carbon bodied SCR. I'm a big fan but I've never actually owned one of his cars. And now it's time to enter Unboxo Vision and let's have a look at the packaging and unboxing of this Nozomi Roof X Watcher Chronograph. So as you can see you've got a square printed box here but strangely the manual that comes with the watch doesn't actually fit inside it so it has to sit outside. The manual is a really nice well printed booklet that talks all about the history of this particular watch, uh, all about the features and all the details 
and of course it talks about the roof yellow bird and the inspiration behind this partnership so it's a really nice little souvenir booklet that comes with it that also doubles up as the registration card for this watch this is the box itself you can see a nice full color printed square box got all the details on it quite a nice little item actually you slip it off and inside we've got the nozumi logo imprinted on the box and as you can see it's one of those sort of clamshell type affairs you open it up and inside there's the watch itself and there's the nozumi special editions backing on it so it's a really cool little thing well packaged it feels overall high quality i think this is a really awesome piece of packaging so why is this watch so interesting to me? Why did I have to have one? Well, obviously for me, it comes down to that roof connection. I'm a massive fan of their work and the cars. And when I saw some early shots of their logo sat on this design dial, I just thought it looked really cool. And actually for the price point, it was exceptionally good value for money. I like the fact that it was a limited edition and I like the fact that it just looked like a really cool everyday motorsport inspired watch. Many of you would think something like this would cost well over a thousand pounds, but actually no, it was 330 pounds plus shipping. So really for something like this, that is an absolute bargain. It's also got a 70s Seiko vibe to it that I really like, but it's built like a Tudor. So therefore it looks cool, it's affordable, and despite its limited edition status, you can pretty much wear it every day and not worry about it. So you can see there on the case back, you've got the Nozumi Specials logo and a big Roof Edition logo. You've got limited to 200 and then just below it is your limited edition number. And this one is number 131 out of 200. And I'm also a bit fascinated by that Seiko Mecha Quarks movement that powers this watch. I find that very interesting and not just because Mecha Quarks sounds like something that would battle Godzilla. The Mecha Quarks movement was created by Frederic Piguet and Gégé Lecoultre in the 80s with the specific intention of making a quartz watch that felt like a mechanical one. The main timekeeping aspect of the Mecha Quartz is still a pure quartz movement, but the big difference is that the chronograph hand, instead of being controlled by a separate stepper motor, the motor instead powers a set of gears that control the chronograph hand. This means that although it's a quartz watch, you still get that satisfying mechanical click from pushing the pushes and operating the chronograph functionality. So therefore you get the best of both worlds. It still feels like a mechanical watch, but it's as accurate as a quartz. And also it means there's no constant tick that you get with lots of other quartz watches. And then of course there's the aesthetics of it. It just looks cool. It's got a really nice vintage retro feel to it. I really love the shade of green and the cream combination. You've got these two black subdials and one cream subdial, and they really do look like classic car instruments. The chronograph hand itself is the same sort of yellowy orange color that the roof logo is in. And the whole thing is tied together with that thin black bezel. You throw in the super cool engraved case back and this aged leather strap, and it just looks like a seriously cool vintage 911 watch, which I guess it is. The Mecha Quartz movement is not too thick, so the case is quite slim and it fits nicely on the wrist and it's very comfortable. That age level the strap is already soft, so you can immediately throw it on the wrist, unlike, for example, the Seiko 5 Street Fighters, which are taking an age to soften up. But this one goes straight on and you hardly even notice you're wearing it. I think Nozomi has done a fantastic job with this dial. It's a really good example where a designer with a certain delicate touch has been able to evoke the feeling of classic vintage cars and bring it to a watch. Lots have tried, not all are successful, but in this case, I really think it works. But let me know what you think in the comments. And also I like the fact that I'm supporting a relatively small business. It's not a mega corporation. So what's the buying story of this Nozomi? How did I get my grubby little hands on it? Well, it started out by pure chance. I think I saw uh, images of this watch on Instagram. That then caused me to click through to the Nozomi website 
because I could see that the watch was on the way, I registered with their newsletter so I could make sure that I was notified first. And then it was just a question of sitting and waiting for them to announce when it was going to appear. As soon as the actual release date was announced, I set an alarm so that I wouldn't miss it. And then I just waited to that fateful day. And as soon as I got the email newsletter that said that they were released, I was on that website quicker than a whippet with a bum full of dynamite. And I managed to get in there and secure one of the 200 in four minutes. And I'm really happy about it. Is it the most precious watch in my collection? No, of course not. But I really like it and I think I'm gonna be wearing it a lot. So there you have it. This is the Nezumi Ruf X Voiture Chronograph, a watch I'm really pleased to have secured and is now in the collection. I have no doubt I'm going to be wearing this a lot, particularly whilst driving. It looks great on the wrist when I'm in a 911 and the fact that it's got that roof connection just makes it feel that much more special. I'm a big fan of what Nozumi has done in its very short time that it's been producing watches, but they all have a really cool vibe about them. They're affordable, the standard models are easy to get hold of, and I just think they feel pretty special. So if you haven't already, why not check them out? See what you think. Thanks for watching this episode on my new Nezumi. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. If you like what I'm doing on the Watch Guys, please subscribe, leave comments and likes, and there'll be another WatchGuys.tv episode along next week.